All right, guys. Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, mumbled my words there, man. Uh, here we are. Uh, more of Hogwarts Legacy for the episode 11th here for this campaign series story, man. Uh, thank you guys again uh, for all likes and comments and just kind of motivate me just to keep going with this series, man. I'm really loving it so far. Been enjoying it a lot. So, but uh, all of the supports, greatly appreciate it. Let's continue where we left off, guys. Love you all. Let's do this. All right, so I'm back at the store here, right? Healing potions are a speciality here. Should you need any? Let me go what talk to this guy again. Ah, uh, five hundred, really? Hmm. Do I even have this? So hold on, I want to try this again, cause Hope I'm. To see you again. Farewell for now. See your quests. Um, let's see here. This one here, right? So I heard that... Because you guys, of course, obviously see my videos, so it's kind of doing this again? Or hold up. Um, is it... Revelio. Oh, that's not what I'm, I was not trying to do. Um, was it L1? Or, yeah, there we go. Endarius Potion. Which, we don't even have these. Yeah, I don't even have both of them here. Ooh, that's a problem. Zero, zero. <laughs> I got this one, but I only got four of them. Yeah, I gotta grab more of these. I wonder if I could sell them, sell the stuff here. I'm kind of curious because I have a bunch of stuff which I don't think. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Let's see here. Sell. That's all I have. Yeah, I'm not looking to purchase these. That's weird. Only only gear we can actually sell. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Oh well. Um. All right. That's fine. That is fine. Let's see here. Let's go with this one. Requires level six, but we're already past that already. Leave a professor Weasley. It's going fast travel with the rights. Um, Hogwarts map. Let's see. The room requirement. Wait, is it all the way over there? Or. It can't be right. There we go. Um, let's zoom in there. It should be good. Let me see. Let's zoom in a little bit more. If I could, right? Hmm. Wait, what? There you go. Fast travel. Much more easier like that, so. And then the werewolves join the goblin. Rebellion. Werewolves, where were you? In the oh, Goblin Lord. Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, well, fun. I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It Sounds was like random there. Oh. That's that Peeves that we saw in that... Well, I think it was Sebastian and I were trying to sneak into that library or whatever. Uh, hold up. Let me try this here. Expelliarmus. Hmm. There you go. Revelio. There's a thing why this is glowing, right? I got 80 for that one. Nice. All right. I'm gonna continue with the main quest though, because I was trying to, because I had this one, the both potion for the max. Is it um? What, what's it called again? Yeah, I have both of these. Used to them, but now I need to. I heard you. You had to mix them together. I like use this one first and this one, so it's kind of like, oh, I did not know that, so I learned it. Professor Weasley. Hmm, somewhere away from prying eyes.
forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Revelio. I thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Is it a floating candle? There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. Uh, let me see here. I guess he's in this one. Hold this up. presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. All right, so a new spell. Here we go. Triangle this time. Square and triangle. Yep. Look at that. I was way ahead. Splendid. All right. New spell. Vanish items. Return Moonstone when Moonstone when casts. All right. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. All right. Here we go. Excellent work. That's so easy. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until Rebellion. we Rebellion. Yes, Professor. All right. All right, I waited for you for ages. Perhaps you were assigned for a few more inch, inches of parchment than you expected. Let me know what we want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. All right. So Deke is the troll that we saw early on in the series. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. <laughs> Oh, I know what to do here. A new spell. Man, I was so quick and it's like so smooth that spell. Revelio. Gonna do this again. The chest right there, I doubt. Oh, hold on, I could bring it to me, right? There you go. Or maybe use it to climb up. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, it's just because of the chest. All right. Uh, well, we got a new scarf. I wonder if it gives us... Let's see here. We've been having this scarf for a while. Oh, wow. 13. Wait, 13? Oh, wow. So we can't have this yet until we have... I'm close to 13, so maybe just a few more. Um, Alright. A few more left. Some random tea. I'll, I'll drink to that. Revelio. We can just oh I would just slide down right there. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! Oh Lord. No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. <laughs> he goes down. Okay, I wonder if I can just put him back together using that one spell. 
Okay. It's just so smooth. This this spell is just really nice. How clever is that? <laughs> um, bit offended the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. No flush your toy there. Hmm. As you can tell, I'm like taking my time with all this. <laughs> oh wow. God, this is so gorgeous. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? We collected more of the moonstone. Wow, that's that? pretty good. Revelio. Was that a golden stitch? The bag there, fifty eight. You should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> What a world? Oh. I was like, who's talking to me? <laughs> Let's see what's under here. Rebellion. Hmm. Was there nothing here? Oh, all right. Let's see, my cough is little. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat there. Sorry about that, guys. Hold up. Can I actually bring this with me? No, huh? Okay. How about if I... No, you cannot either. Alright, that's weird. Or maybe... Hmm. There's a reason why it's there, right? Can I... Okay, that's weird. Ha! <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, can I actually disappear? No, I cannot, right? Alright. Revelio. The chest right there. I don't think I could grab that, so. Alright. I hope that house elf can find us in here. See a light right there. I wonder what it is. Oh, so we're following a can the candles there. That could be Deek. Oh, there he is. Careful, huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <sighs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident. If ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest.
You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah! Revelio. And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent! It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Right, let's take a look at this. I don't have anything for this at the moment. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Oh wow, a new one. Alert. Nice. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Conjuring spell. Oh, it's this one right here. All right, um, conjures items and, oh, wow. Let's do it on this one. I wonder how we're going to do this. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Oh wow, Moonstone. So we got three of them here. Might as well. Oh lord. Uh, how about put him? Hold up, let's see here. Rotates. Um, is it a good spot here? I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that should be good, right? Okay, let's go back. All right, now for a table. Hold up, let's see here. Hmm. There you go. Oh man, what table though? Let's do this one. Just kind of leave some space. I don't know where, but maybe oh, we can actually. Oh, I see now. That's how you kind of. It's like a quick change, you know. Uh, maybe. Let me see. I mean, I'm not trying to be all picky, you know. Oh, excuse me, Deke. Hmm. Let me put it right here. Might as well. Well done. There you go. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grass. Uh, I can change the colors. Ooh, so nice. Uh, let's go with black. Can I do that? Or... Oh, I don't even have any. I mean, that's pretty much it, though. All right, that was actually pretty fun. 
Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Gets to know more about him. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Alright, that's all I need to know. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Alright, quest completed. Already finished with that. I should hit almost to level 13. <laughs> no charms there, right? Nothing to identify. For now, at least. Can I go speak with Deke right now, or no? Alright. I was kind of figuring if I can, though. Um, so we got nothing there. We can equip this, but... Uh, let's interact with this one. Ooh, that is so nice. So we could just... That is awesome. We need one of this. Select. Oh, wow. That is so cool. We still need... A... We still need, like, a specific piece for that, um... The other potion for that. Revelio. Let's kind of wait for it, you know? Wait for at least, like... 10 seconds. Alright, speak with Professor... What's this here? Potting table? Oh, okay, two... Okay. It's kind of like what that, um... The greenhouse, whatever. There you go. Now that we have that, yeah, see, we now, now we have one. We just need this one remaining. Um, yeah, we just need Ash Winder eggs. Okay. I'll keep an eye, keep an eye on that. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Okay. A side quest there. Um, let's... We'll do that later, so... We're so close to 13, man. Just a little bit more. Let's right now... Man, we got now a bunch of side quests. Um... Okay, so let's level 8. Let's go with the main story first. Alright. Let's go with me, Sebastian. I wonder where he's at right now. So he's... Okay. So I'm gonna zoom in here. Let's see here. There you go. We're fast travel. Okay, me as with Sebastian. Yeah, I might complete two missions in this video. Even though we're still... We're rolling with the series, man. We are. We're kicking butt. Loving it, man. Loving it. Revenue. Now, I'm kind of curious, guys. I, if I find a book, I can get to level 13 right now and acquired or equip that scarf, I believe, right? But yeah, it's been a fun, fun series, man. I'm enjoying it every minute of it. Hopefully, my voice doesn't give out because I'm recording. I don't know how many videos I'll be recording this day, man. Recording is on a Friday, so. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. 
Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Secret room? There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Let me, um... Kind of switches off, you know? Look secret. Ha! <laughs> How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Revelio, the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anything. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. All right. Back to the gear screen. Um, what's the difference? <laughs> I mean, it works, right? Yo, this is a five. Ah, uh, no, thank you. I'm just gonna keep just like I said, just gonna keep it casual, you know, not trying to go all aggressive. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. All right, new spell, let's do it. A triangle. X, X, and square. There we go, a Z. Kinda curious about this one. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the top. All right, what do we got here? Oh, a long range bolt. Oh, this is something we needed. During which time, I guess we, we could replace the fire one for this one. Uh, hold on, what does this one do? Oh, that's sick. I haven't even explored much of these yet. Unforgettable curse. Okay, what about this one? Oh, I heard about this one. Instantly. Jesus Christ. 
I heard about this this bell. Best to keep the undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. Good for you. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. That's gonna be very very useful down the road. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Uh, this is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. Ah, oh, I mean, he didn't, he didn't rent me out before, so... Sure. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Revelio. Okay. That's actually pretty nice. Just kind of learning the spell. That's actually pretty cool. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? I stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Um, no need for threats. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. 
Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. In the shadow of the Undercraft. Okay. 13. Let's go. We got one talent point. Now we could get this going with the uh, scarf. Ooh, yes. Do need this. A must. Look at the offense points now. Um. Oh, headwear. I didn't realize we have a new one. Oh, that's minus three. So I'm not going to use that. Um... Inventory. Uh, so hold up here. Almost level 16. Acquire talent. So hold up. Let me see this. Spells, course. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Purchase. Can we actually purchase all these? Oh, I see now. Okay, dark arts. What does this do? Oh, we haven't required that one yet. Or oh, hold up, can we actually require this? Oh, how about this? Level 22. Hmm. We have seven of these. Stealth, core, what does this one do again? <laughs> Wait, what? Ooh, okay. Get that one, just kind of get that out of the way. That's already been purchased. Uh, hold R2. Wait, what? Oh, we do need this. Hold up. What does that say? That is sick. Yeah, we're going to need that. Oh, so, so these are just slots. Okay. Ooh, holding down, dodging. That is sick. I'm going to get this one. Ooh, man. So just kind of blocking, huh? Uh, basic. Might as well. I'm just getting all these. <laughs> Alright. That should be it for now.